Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. I was sitting here trying to configure my FortiGate and put all the VLANs that I need for my new network setup. As you know, I've been trying to share with you my new network installation in this new home. Now I'm in the FortiGate where I'm trying to make everything as I want it to be. This is the design that I'm trying to implement and I'm going to release a video in the next couple of days in which I show you exactly how I configure all these VLANs in the FortiGate. But there's something here that I want to bring to you. This is something that I noticed a couple months ago. I don't have licenses anymore in my FortiGate. So this licensing system is what a lot of companies are doing this day. So you get the device or you buy the device. I don't know if I told you this, but I bought this FortiGate for 80 bucks on, on eBay. So it was a good deal for me. But on top of the 80 bucks, you have to spend annually or, you know, it depends on how much you want to buy. You can buy it for three years or five years. You need to spend some money to get access to all the features that are built in your device and also get access to all the dynamic services or all the services that the, the provider or the security company is giving you online for their devices. A lot of companies are doing it. Cisco, Meraki, um, Sonic Wall, Fortinet, all those companies are license based. I just want to show you in this video what I'm missing for not having a license and at the end i'll tell you if that's something that i really need so let's go in the fortigate we are now on the main page of the fortigate and you can see here that all of these are red but if you look at the installation video here you can see that it was all green but now i don't have these advantages anymore so let's see exactly what we are missing to do that we go under system and we click on FortiGuard. FortiGuard is actually this bundle of services that you get from FortiGate by having a license. So they connect you to a lot of things. You have a database of um, different viruses or database of different websites so they can rate your website and they can tell you which one is safe and which one is not. They can look at your traffic trying to find some uh, virus signatures to see if your traffic is safe or not. But I'm going to go through all this list here and show you exactly what I am missing. First of all, when I bought the device, it was still registered under the previous owner and I reached out to them because I could see the, the email address on this registration section here they were very nice so they were able to answer and remove the device from their inventory so I was able to register the device on my name but actually I don't get any support from them because I don't have that license if you look here uh, 24 by 7 support expired already so I don't have any support if I have any issue with my FortiGate I can never call Fortinet for help here so here you can see that I don't have any license for firmware and general updates so I don't have any upgrades on the in the firmware and that's something that I don't really miss because I just did an update. Uh, right now I have the version 6.0.5 and I don't have any IPS protection. So I don't receive any intrusion prevention service from Fortinet and I don't get any antivirus um, protection as well. So all of this is gone. I don't have access to any outbreak prevention and I don't have access to the industrial database. I don't know what this is, but I think it's probably um, a database of attacks. And okay, yeah, it says here industrial attack definitions. And I don't have the security rating. The security rating will actually audit your device and will tell you how good or how bad your security is uh, on your device. So I don't have that right now. And I do not have web filtering. Web filtering actually will dynamically monitor your web traffic and will block or allow um, websites based on many things, based on categories, based on content, based on bandwidth, based on a lot of things. And the FortiGuard can help you do that automatically just by a simple click. And I don't have that right now because it's gone. One good thing that I still have though is the Forti clients. Right now, without a license, with a free license that I have, I can connect up to 10 instances of 40 clients. So I'm good with this. This is 10. And if you have more than 10 employees, then that would become a problem because you would need a license for everybody to connect. But in my case, I'm still good. I also have the 40 cloud, which is a very good service as well. You can access your device from the cloud. You can configure and do whatever. It's been very helpful most of the time if I'm out of the of my home and I'm somewhere where the IP address is not configured in my device. So if I want to VPN or to connect or to do any, any RDP or any kind of service, I need to register that IP of where I am in my device. And um, I also still have the 40 Sandbox Cloud. So do I need the licenses or am I missing something for not having the licenses? The answer is simply no. I don't miss anything because most of the things that I'm missing here, first of all, I didn't set them in my network. And also I can do this manually 
if I want to, which I've been doing, by the way. For example, web filtering. This is a web filtering. Instead of me relying on the FortiGuard to see what websites are good and what are not, I can just come here under security profile and go under web filter. And you can see here that the FortiGuard category based is disabled because I don't have any license. If I'm trying to enable it, they're like, hey, you cheater, stop doing that. You don't have any license for it. I'm like, okay, good. You can block traffic to certain websites depending on the content of the website. Let's say you want to block, let's say adult content. You will be able to do it from here just by a click and FortiGate will be able to block that for you automatically using the FortiGuard. Or you can block some website depending on the bandwidth that they're using on your network. If you are, uh, you want to prevent people from using a file sharing services or if you want to, to do all kinds of things, this is a very good service. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you don't have to have a license. If you can afford it, go ahead and do it. But me personally, I think it's a lot of money. But there's something that's completely free. It's you hitting the like button on this video so that people can see it and it can be shared with more people to help the channel. Thank you for doing that. You can still do your web filtering manually by creating this uh, or this list of websites that you want to block on your network. Like here, this is yahoo.com. I was just trying it and see if it works or not. And it does. So I'm able to block yahoo.com because I don't really go there. I was just testing. Now I cannot reach it in my network. Let me try yahoo.com. Yep, it says this is blocked by the firewall and that's good. So I was able to block that here manually and I can add any website that I want to block for my users. So when I try to check the licenses online, man, I can say that they are kind of expensive. Um, I mean, compared to what I'm used to, you know, free stuff. I feel like spending 150 bucks for just one license or maybe 200 bucks or even more for a device that I bought for 80 bucks, it's really not very tempting for me right now. So that's why I'm living without any license, but at least the basic security is uh, assured uh, on my network and I know exactly what's coming in and what's going out. So I have the basic services from the FortiGate and I'm good. But if you are a business, if you have um, users, if you have employees, if you have a lot of people depending on this device, you need to have a license because there are some threats that are particular to you. Uh, if you have a website hosted inside your network or if you have a lot of people reaching out from the VPN, you definitely, I think you need the license at some point. Or if I had kids, for example, I would want my kid not to go to adult content website. Then I will have the web filtering with adult content blocked or some keywords. I can block some keywords on um, the, the, the search engines and so on. So that's something that I don't really need now. And I can live without the 40, I mean, without the licenses. Unless one of you guys decided to buy me a license, that would be great. I'll be screaming your name all over the place. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.